Hello everyone. We will continue the practical part of views. We we'll start with creation of our first view, that is our database view. I will go to SC eleven transaction code. Choose the radio button view, and I will give some name to the database view. I'll click on create button. all four types of views are appearing i will choose database view i will give the short description database view for order details now we already created two tables order header table and order item table with the help of those two tables we will create a database view if you see the exercise we will create a database view these many columns we will take from order header table these columns will take from order item table we will go for this practical part here i will pass the name of my order header table which i create i'll click on relationship button when i will click on relationship button you can see order item table is automatically appearing here because we decide we we maintained the relationship between the tables when we did the practical part of primary foreign key relationship our header table is has a relationship with the item table so whenever you will click on the relationship button item table is automatically appearing or you can see dependent table means or item table is automatically appearing it is our independent table it is our primary key table and when we will click on relationship button that dependent table is automatically appearing i will select this dependent table and i will click on copy button and you can see it is clearly saying order number of header table is equal to order number of item table i will go for view fields here i will take the columns whatever the columns you want in the view i will go for table fields i will choose first table suppose from the first table i will take all the columns copy now i will go for second table order number you already took from the header table so there is no need to take it again you can simply take rest of the columns from item table so we created a database view in which we have the columns from both the tables i will not take ma and dt because anyways client number is there yes m and d team is client number so we took these columns from order header table and these columns from order item table and we created a database view i will save this database view i'll save it as a local object i'll check the syntax and i will activate this database now how i can check the contents of this database view i'll go for this contents button and i am executing this database view and you can see these columns up to delivery location are from order header table and these three columns are from order item table you can easily check the importance previously we went for one table second table we are individually checking the contents of the table but now view we, we can view the contents of both the table together by creating a database view 
सो डेटा बेस व्यू इज ए कलेक्शन ऑफ वन और मोर डेटा बेस स्टेटमेंट नाउ विल गो फॉर आवर सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ व्यू दैट इज आवर प्रोजेक्शन व्यू so i'll go to again sc11 i'll give some name to the projection view i'll click on create button projection i will give some short description projection view for order details and you can see here we have a option to pass only one table because what is the purpose of projection view you can take only those columns which are required so suppose if you see the exercise also in the exercise i only mentioned one table that is our order header table i'll pass the name of my order header table is my table and i will choose the columns now you can see table has total eight columns but i will create a projection view only for four columns order number order date delivery number delivery date so these four columns suppose required so i created a projection view only for these four columns and i am activating this projection view so i took only those columns which are required and it is applicable for single table now from the better understanding or generally a question comes in which scenario your database view is equal to projection view projection view is for single table if we are creating a database view for single table only in that scenario both are equal suppose if i am going for a database view creation suppose i am giving some name suppose i am clicking on create button database view database view suppose i am passing the name of my header table but i am not clicking on relationship button and i am not taking any other table i'll simply go for view fields table fields and i will choose the columns from the order header table and i am activating the database view so in this case have you seen your database view is equal to projection view we have four columns in the projection view in the we have four columns in the database view so whenever you are creating a database view for single table in that case database view is equal to projection view generally what the best practice is whenever you want a uh, whenever you want specific columns from a single table create a projection view because database view is generally a combination of one or more database tables but from the understanding perspective if database view consists of single table it is equal to your projection view so what we learned in this particular video we learned the practical part of database view and projection thank you